Well, Jamie Jen, because the president wanted South Carolina to have the first primary and the DNC set the calendar that way, President Biden's name will not appear on the ballot in New Hampshire. And he has not campaigned here either. But his cabinet has spent a lot of time in the Granite State just over the last month. Let's take a look at who's been here. Just to name a few, Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo is here in December for a tour of BAE. SBA Administrator Isabel Guzman was also here last month for visits in Rochester and Exeter. The Director of the Office of for Science and Technology was in Littleton just yesterday, and there are more on the way with three more members of the administration set to visit New Hampshire in the future. The Hatch Act, though, limits any government official working in their official capacity so they can't get involved in politics. That would include campaigning on the president's behalf. But political analysts say these visits do have a purpose. I think there is probably um, some uh, something deliberate going on here. Um, it's not that you know New Hampshire isn't an important state, and it's not that it's not a state that um, uh, cabinet secretaries would have reason to visit. Um, but the frequency and the volume of these visits, I think, is very much designed to keep not just the president on the front page, but to um, talk about the policy accomplishments of the administration. So even though the president is not on the ballot for the primary, New Hampshire Democrats have launched a write-in campaign for him.